Hello, I'm the Great Geek because I'm 50% Greek and 100% a geek. Now, I've been wanting to make this video for a while to help out the channels that have been helping me out the most over the last two years. I've decided to only shout out 10 channels because I don't want to do too many because then people will probably lose interest and not check out all of the channels. So I could easily shout out 100 plus channels that have supported me over the last two years, but I can't feasibly do that within a very short time frame. But in saying that, a lot of channels that comment on my videos are channels that also have movie review related channels. So check them out as well. You see someone's comment, have a look at their channel. If you think their content's pretty good, give them a subscribe and that would be appreciated as well. And for those of you that feel that sh they should have been included in this video, I do apologize. I I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I'll definitely do another one of these in the future. So. Maybe I'll get you then. So first of all, I want to shout out Jason from Off The Cuff 76. He has a very similar channel to me. He reviews movies as well, but he gives his thoughts on geek culture and news and that kind of thing. He also does a lot of unboxings and that kind of thing and talks about games as well. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, check out his channel. So next up are two fellow Australians, Trent and Julia from The Fandom Zone. They have unparalleled knowledge when it comes to comic book and comic book adaptations. I watch their videos a lot to get a better understanding of the comic book side of comic book adaptations because I haven't read that many comic books so I really value their knowledge. They do movie reviews like me and they also do trailer reactions and comic book reviews and that kind of thing. Very interesting. Highly recommend that you subscribe to them. Now Marvin from Marvin's channel. He has been watching and commenting on my videos for quite a while and he always leaves very extensive comments on my videos and we often have very in-depth discussions about movies and he reviews movies, movies as well and has very, very in-depth knowledge of the nuances of a lot of films and he often picks up on a lot of things that I never do and it's always very interesting. So I highly recommend that you check out Marvin's channel. Next up is Brett and his editor Riley from BamTube TV. Definitely check out their channel for movie news. They don't do movie reviews anymore. They used to do them, but now not so much focusing on other movie related things such as news. They do these other interesting videos where they pitch different movie characters against other characters such as Wonder Woman versus Captain Marvel, Aquaman versus Black Panther, and Godzilla versus King Kong, and they go really in depth in how they compare the different characters from the different movies. Very interesting, check out their channel. Next up is Jim Bob Talks Movies. I think his actual name is Jim Bob. I've done a bit of social media stalking and trying to find a video where he actually mentions his, his name. I haven't found it yet, so I'm sorry Jim Bob if your name isn't actually Jim Bob. He is a smaller reviewer that I found quite a while ago, but he does have a very deep passion for movies and he's been struggling a little bit at the moment because he's trying to find his niche and trying to juggle doing this YouTube thing and family and friends and work as we all struggle to do. But I think he has a lot of potential and I really recommend that you check out his channel. Sean from Sean O'Rourke, his channel focuses on talking about his opinions on the latest uh, movie news and pop culture and that kind of thing. Now, what separates him from a lot of other people is that he has actually been involved in the movie industry for the last 20 years. So he offers very unique insight to what's happening behind the scenes. And I definitely recommend checking out his video on how he became the R stunt double for Danny McBride in Eastwood Bound and Down. Very interesting video, go check out his channel. Larry from LC Screen Talk. Larry does some fantastic reviews on his channel and he also does a lot of <laughs> Blu-ray hunting videos. Now, where he gets all of his room for all of his Blu-ray, which is a massive collection by now, I have no idea. But if you wanna see him hunt for more Blu-rays and review movies, go check out his channel. Aaron from Miles E Movies. We've been watching out each other's videos for quite a while now. He's been doing this about the same time as me, but he has been way more consistent in uploading his movie reviews. So he has a very, very big back catalog of movie reviews. So if there's a movie that you wanna see a review for, he's most likely done it. So go and check out Miles E's movies. Now, Cinemaze. I'll find out your real name someday, I swear I will. Like all channels on here, he does, he talks about movies. He mostly reviews movies, but he goes super in depth and you can tell that he puts in a monumental amount of effort into his video editing and how he 
represents his opinion. His videos are phenomenally good. I think he's taking a break from YouTube at the moment, but I do believe that he is coming back at some point where I'll be eagerly waiting, but he does already have some fantastic movie reviews and some other videos on there. So I definitely recommend that you check out his videos and his channel. Last but not least is Nick from Movie Emporium. Nick, as a lot of the people who are included in this video, does movie reviews as well. I'm seeing a bit of a theme here, but he also does trailer reactions as well. And he also runs his own podcast called The Trench Run, which focuses all on Star Wars stuff. So I definitely recommend that you go and check out his channel, his podcast, and his reviews and trailer reactions. I tried to keep it as brief as possible. I didn't want this video going for too long and Thank you everyone that has supported me over the last two years. Even if you're not included in this video, I really do appreciate it. I would not be where I am now if it weren't for all of you wonderful people. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to doing this for many more years to come. So thank you again, everyone. I'll catch you next time.